Hi, I'm Ed, and today I'm going to go ahead and show the performance of the air conditioner unit running off of a Honda 2200 uh, generator. I've run a previous video showing how to install a boost capacitor to the air conditioner unit on top of uh, for the uh, trailer here. Um, the AC unit is a 13.5K uh, BTU uh, unit, so it's pretty standard for a lot of the other trailers, but I want to go ahead and show you that uh, it does in fact work. All right, so I got my Honda 2200 uh, generator running right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the eco mode off. That way I have uh, full power available here. I am on generator power here. So what I'll do here is I'll just go come up here and just go fan on first. And there we go. Generator is running on that. Be able to run the load, no problem. So when you're running an AC unit on the generator power, you want to make sure that you don't run out of fuel uh, on your generator because what you can do is, when the generator runs out of fuel, then the uh, voltage is going to end up usually dying or, or, or it's going to falling off, and it could uh, draw more even more power, and it can actually damage the uh, the motors and every, uh, all the loads that are actually plugged into the generator. So. Before shutting off the generator, I switch this over back to fan, and then I shut it back down. Okay? Okay, so when running a generator with the air conditioner, uh, one thing that's also important to keep in mind is your power consumption in regards to what loads you're going to have available. So I don't run the microwave and the heater, um, but I do have... There's the air conditioner, there's the main, here's my GFI, which also does my main plugs as well throughout the, uh, the camper. And then I also installed an extra uh, breaker here, uh, this, so that way I can shut the 12-volt converter off. I have uh, solar on the roof as well as uh, solar on the ground, uh, so that way I don't have to worry about, uh, about charging this. Um, so if I need to, when I have the generator on, I can always just, uh, just turn this on and I can go ahead and charge it that way. Uh, but again, with the solar, it's not necessary and it actually is a better for the uh, batteries using a better pulse width modulation charger than the one that's inside the uh, power converter box. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful showing that a Honda 2200 can run the air conditioning unit on the top of a standard RV, providing we have the uh, super boost capacitor. I'll go ahead and put the uh, uh, link down below. Um, and go ahead and uh, check that out, get that installed. And for boondocking, uh, this makes it perfect. I love this generator. Probably do another review on, the, on this one at some, some point. Uh, but uh, uh, this works out uh, great for us. I can go to the local uh, Honda shop and get parts, services, and uh, everything like that. Can't really do that if I would do an Amazon buy off of something else that's uh, you know big box marked uh, or anything like that. Uh, some of the uh, Harbor Freight uh, or, or whatnot. So th this is just uh, awesome to be able to do this uh, for camping and still run the air conditioner even when it's hot. Happy trails.